My name is Uduak Afan. You can also call me Buff. I am the author of the book, The Viral Faith. Every day, God daily seek out with the, for a relationship with those that are called His own. But this generation is so focused on things that distract and does not give glory to God. Our relationship is further strengthened by the Holy Spirit, but we daily ignore the nudgings and the yearning of the Spirit that is in us. James chapter 4 verse 5 says, Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? This envy is born out of love, and this love was demonstrated by the death of Jesus Christ. Love motivated Jesus Christ to die for us, because the word says, For God so loved the world. So the love of God, that God loves the world, prompted Jesus Christ, or motivated the death of Jesus Christ, just to reconcile us back to himself. And what does this tell us? The first thing God seeks with man is relationship, and relationship with him is where we have safety you know the envy that James 4 5 talks about is not the type of envy you see among men where envy can lead to different things but God's envy is for love and to draw us back to him so it says in 1st Timothy 2 4 that we rather have all men to be saved yet it daily calls for repentance so he can protect us. John 16.33 says, This thing that I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. I remember a time a friend advised I relocate from Abuja to Lagos when there was a series of bomb blasts in Abuja. And I gave it the thought, shall I move my family to Lagos? But shortly after, what Ebola came and the first place Ebola was discovered was in Lagos and I thought to myself oh if I had moved my family to Lagos then we would have been under another threat of the scared I mean of the fear of contacting the disease the virus then shortly the xenophobic attack came in South Africa friends and family I thought about you know speaking and advising why don't you relocate home because of fear of death and I got a check in my spirit. And God proved that recently by the COVID that came. Almost all the countries in the world were affected. And what does it tell you? That's to tell you that there's no specific location that can be called a safe place. There's no specific place. There's no specific human. There's no specific um, environment or neighborhood that you can call that is safe except in God. Safety is only in God. And God daily calls us to himself to protect us. God daily calls us to himself to keep us. God daily calls us to himself to provide for us. God daily calls us to himself, you know, to lead us in the right path. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. No unrighteous can run into the name because when they see the name or they see the strong tower, they will not identify it because it takes righteousness through the blood of Jesus Christ to be able to identify the strong tower, which is the name of the Lord. So, right now, why is safe? We look at what is going on around us. Nigeria as a country is just coming out of the COVID that rampage almost everyone around the country. People you know, turn into fear. But look at what is going on right now. You know, the ENSARS protest has brought in another series of messages injecting fear into our veins, into our blood. And people are looking at the question in their mind is, where are we going from here? Where are we going from here? What I can say right now is that safety is in God, not in any location. And this is proven right by things that is going on around us now we are at the end of the end time we are at the very end of the end time paul says that we that remain will be changed 
if you're thinking of an eye, for we will not all die. And what I'm saying is that as you are listening to this video, as you are listening to me, Jesus Christ might come any moment from now. But before then, or before we hear the trumpet, before the rapture, before the last day, what I can say is the fact that we are approaching the nine minutes of the end of the end time. And that is why you are seeing what is going on. You are seeing what is going on. Injustice will increase. Selfishness will increase. Greed will increase. And that's why you see that 1 Timothy 3, 1-5, the verse 2 of 1 Timothy says, Men shall be lovers of themselves. They will not consider you to take any decision. And the only one that will consider you or that has been considering you in influencing and considering you in everything he does with you is God. And so you can only run to him. He's the one that can guarantee the peace, the love, and the justice that you seek. Why not run to God? This generation, God has chosen this generation and God wants to work with this generation. A lot of people call this generation a wasted generation. But the point is, this generation is a generation that will enjoy the highest form of grace. Because grace did much more abound where sin did abound. There's grace. There's grace for safety. There's grace for peace. There's grace for joy. There's grace for love. There's grace for unity. And there's grace for relationship. God bless you real good, even as you listen to me. Thank you so much.